Hey guys, this is Ben. Welcome back to the channel. The Oscars are this Sunday. They are less than a week away, so that means it is time for me to give my final 2022 Oscar predictions. Things have all of a sudden become interesting at the last second, so we got a lot to talk about. So let's just jump right into it. Power of the Dog or Coda? What is happening here? These are the two that are battling it out for best picture at this point. It looked like it was gonna be Power of the Dog for a long time. It looked like the clear front runner, and then slowly, ever since it was nominated, Coda has crept, it, crept, creeped its way up. It won the PGA, it won the SAG, and now it's looking like it might go to Coda. Coda is the film right now with the most amount of passion behind it. It's like that little underdog film, but it only has three nominations. It doesn't have a DGA nomination, it doesn't have a director nomination, it doesn't have an editing nomination. If Coda won, that would be huge. It would break a lot of stats, it would break a lot of records, and it would be the first time since like the 1930s where a film with this many nominations won. So could it go to Coda? Is it really gonna go to Coda? It's a tough call. It's really tough and I could switch um, what I think is gonna win at the last second, but as of right now, I think I'm gonna stick with Power of the Dog. I'm gonna go down with the ship, I don't know. It's just so hard for me to bet against Power of the Dog when it's gotten, you know, got 12 nominations, it's winning director, it was the film that was sweeping all the critics groups. When I'm comparing Coda to Power of the Dog, Coda is not a super big film when it comes to its technical elements. You know, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have, you know, very flashy direction or cinematography. It's, it kind of relies on its performances and its screenplay. Whereas Power of the Dog is more of a, a complete cinematic package, maybe I'd put it. You know, and it's obviously, that's demonstrated by the fact that it was nominated across the board. So because of that, I just, I feel like it's still gonna go to Power of the Dog at the end of the day. Also, Power of the Dog, you know, has a really low IMDB score. It's not a film that everybody's gonna love. For that reason, it could go to Coda. It's hard. I don't know what to go with. Should I go Coda? Third, I guess, is Belfast, but its chances were kind of shot when it didn't get nominated for editing, didn't get nominated for cinematography. It hasn't been winning the precursors that it needs to, so really everything else is off the table. It's just between Power of the Dog and Coda, and we'll see. I'm very interested to find out. All right, director, it's going to Jane Campion. Jane Campion has been sweeping all the awards. Um, I honestly don't even know who else it would go to, like maybe Spielberg, maybe Kenneth Branagh, if all of a sudden Belfast had a surprisingly strong evening. But it's Jane Campion. She's uh, unstoppable at this point. Actress is going to Jessica Chastain. Let's go. Chastain, if you've been following my channel, Chastain has been my pick ever since I saw The Eyes of Tammy Faye at TIFF this past year. Um, I loved her performance in this movie. It is maybe the best performance I saw all of last year. I loved her performance in this movie. People who say she was overdoing it, I disagree. If you've seen any real life footage of Tammy Faye, you know that she nailed it. So I'm super happy that she's kind of had this last minute surge um, from winning at the SAGs and the Critics' Choice. If she doesn't win, I would maybe go with Stewart. I just, I don't think Kidman would win. I really don't think Coleman or Cruz would win. So I guess I would put Stewart at number two, but at this point it's looking pretty clear that it's gonna be Chastain, and I'm very happy about that. Will Smith, an actor. He is the clear front runner. He has swept all of the major awards. Benedict Cumberbatch lost the BAFTAs, and that was kind of his only chance to maybe prove himself as a contender. Will Smith is winning this, and I love to see it. Supporting actress is going to Ariana DeBose. Again, she has swept everything. She is winning this. I don't even know who would be next in line because no one else has won. Supporting actor, again, another very clear front runner that seems like a lock, and that is Troy Kotzer. He took over the front rider status from Cody Smith McPhee a while back and has been winning um, all of the major awards ever since. And I don't think there's any looking back. He is going all the way, especially if we're talking about Coda being a strong contender for winning best picture. Troy Kotzer has to win this award. Honestly, all of these performances, Troy Kotzer, Ariana DeBose, Will Smith, and Jessica Chastain are my personal picks for these categories. So if they all end up winning, I will be very happy. Okay, moving on to screenplay. So this category is a little bit interesting. Um, 
It was looking like it was gonna be licorice pizza for a while, especially after it beat Belfast at the BAFTAs, which you would think Kenneth Branagh would win at the BAFTAs. So it looked like it was gonna be licorice pizza, but then all of a sudden, licorice pizza loses to Don't Look Up at the WGAs, where Belfast wasn't even nominated. So that should have been a very easy win for licorice pizza, but it lost. So that's shaking things up and I don't know what to go with. I think I might go with Belfast at this point just because of that WGA loss, honestly. It's gonna be the more popular film overall. Ba uh, Belfast is definitely gonna be the more popular film. Kenneth Branagh has his own little narrative. It's a very personal film. He's kind of overdue. Even though PTA has his overdue narrative um, and it won the BAFTAs, I think it might go to Belfast. I don't know. Okay, adapted screenplay I think is gonna go to CODA at this point. CODA won the WGA and it won the BAFTAs even though The Power of the Dog was ineligible for the WGAs. CODA screenplay is largely why it works so well. It's a big part of that movie's charm. And The Power of the Dog, I just this doesn't seem like a category that it necessarily needs to win. Cinematography is probably gonna go to Dune. Dune won the ASE and it won the BAFTAs. And Greg Fraser's name's been thrown around a lot more so than any of these other cinematographers just because of the fact that, you know, he did the Batman and the Batman's been getting a lot of praise for its cinematography and Greg Fraser has just been getting a lot of praise overall. So I think because of that, riding off the success of the Batman, he's gonna take it. If Dune doesn't win this, I could see it going to Power the Dog or maybe even The Tragedy of Macbeth. Costume design is Cruella all day, every day, and I love to see it. Easily the best costumes of this group. Are you kidding? Film editing is weird. I don't know what to predict in this category. King Richard won the Eddies just recently, which is a pretty big deal. But editing winners often correlate with sound, with uh, movies that are nominated for best sound and often for movies that win Best Sound. So when you take that into consideration, maybe you wanna go with Dune. It could very easily go to Dune, but I just have a feeling that it might go to King Richard. I don't know, there's just a feeling inside of me that makes me wanna vote for King Richard. It could be my own personal bias. I really love King Richard, and I think that it has really effective editing. Dune is gonna win so many other technical categories. Again, they might wanna just spread the love a little bit. Makeup and hair is going to go to the eyes of Tammy Faye. It won the BAFTAs, it won the Critics' Choice, and it's just a nice little package. Makeup and hair and Jessica, Jessica Chastain. Production design, I think it's between Dune and Nightmare Alley. All signs kind of point it to being Dune. It won the Critics' Choice, it won the BAFTAs. Both Nightmare Alley and Dune won um, the Art Directors Guild under like the two different categories. So it's definitely between those two. I am gonna take a little bit of a risk and say Nightmare Alley. I don't know why, I just have a feeling they might go with Nightmare Alley. Again, kind of spreading the love a little bit. And Nightmare Alley has some really, really incredible production design. Sound is going to Dune. This is one of the most predictable awards of the night. The sound in Dune is the biggest, it's the loudest, it's the most integral to the story and the experience watching this movie. Visual effects, another very obvious award that's going to go to Dune. I can't see any of these other films winning. It's been sweeping. We don't need to talk about this more. Score, again, is gonna go to Dune. Hans Zimmer has been sweeping across the board. This film is very score heavy. It's a big part of this movie. It carries a lot of this movie. Something steals it from Dune. Maybe Encanto, if they really love Encanto. I don't know, but it's gonna go to Dune. Okay, so song, I have no reason to predict this, and it's absolutely stupid for me to predict this, but I'm gonna go with Dos Origitas over No Time to Die. No Time to Die has won everything, so if you go off that, I should be predicting it to win. But I just have a feeling that they might wanna give Encanto an award, and even though we don't talk about Bruno, wasn't nominated, wasn't even you know put forth to be nominated. Um, it would have won if it was. But I feel like they're just gonna wanna give an award to Kanto, even if it's Dos Origitas. So, because of that, I'm gonna go with Dos Origitas, but this is definitely a risk and I'm probably gonna be wrong. 
um, you know, they want to give Billie Eilish an Oscar too. Animated feature is going to go to Encanto. Encanto is just the animated movie of the year, the most buzzed about movie. It's the film that won the BAFTAs, the Globe, the PGA. Um, you know, it's the only film out of this list that has other nominations. Like we just talked about, it has a score nomination, it has a song nomination. So for all those reasons, I think it's the clear front runner, even though the Mitchells vs. Machines won the Critics' Choice and won the Annie's. Documentary feature is going to go to Summer of Soul. Um, which again has won basically everything. If it doesn't go to Summer of Soul, I could see it going to Flea, but um, you know, especially considering that Flea was also nominated in animated feature. And finally, international feature, easiest category of the night, Drive My Car. It's just a rule. If your movie is nominated for best picture and it's an international feature, it's gonna win. That's just how it works. So that's it. Those are my Final predictions for the 2022 Oscars. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think The Power of the Dog is gonna win or Coda? That's the big question right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like this video and subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter and Letterboxd and I will see you on Oscar Sunday. See ya.